And it is time to move on to day two of this mail-in tournament. And we are excited to see the new teams that we have yet to see, 9 through 16 today. And we're hoping for some exciting racing. Hey, everybody. I'm Brendan. Almost forgot to throw that in there. Forgetting my own intro at this point. But we got that Slanman Customs uh, starting gate and a timer at the end, which has been just wonderful, a new model from them. And so you get a look at it here and how it all works. And it is beautiful. And it is new. And it is more accurate. Four decimal places at the end of our timer. And so really just... Uh, a product worth buying if you are a Hot Wheels fanatic and if you want precision timing and just something that looks nice and adds to the whole feature of the track setup. You can go to their Facebook, Instagram, and their Etsy. That's where you're going to buy and speak to them and connect with them. I recommend it. Links are in the description if you are looking for them. And, uh, well, get your very own Races and Fun sponsored products today slammancustomsagain.com www they have their own website and again their Facebook I'm excited to see who we got racing today and what kind of vehicles we have to see. We know every model that's chosen with every uh, other possible character has different uh, strengths and weaknesses. So we're going to get a chance to look at that here in a moment and get racing. Uh, I can't emphasize enough how awesome Slamman Customs is, and that's what we're doing right here. A lot of products up there. You see uh, the track clamp, banked curves. I mean, they really got some good stuff there for racing. Now, uh, now that you're really taking a deeper look, I would, I can't but recommend them. Heat 1. And we have our four here. Weston, Chase, Family, Jeremy, and Cloaked After Dark. And we'll get a sense of what kind of vehicles we got here. Weston is that Luigi in the standard cart who's already out to a strong speed lead. We have a Yoshi in a standard cart, and that's the Chase family. I remember, he had written in, and he was really excited about the whole thing. And if his whole family's watching today, well, <laughs> welcome. And I wish you the best of luck, but I will stay unbiased through the process. Jeremy in there, where, uh, well, a Yoshi in a pipe frame, so we'll see how that fares. Ooh, slow. Everybody slows through the turns, man. Do we have a stoplight there? And Cloaked After Dark, a Donkey Kong in a standard cart, which I was dubious about, and I'm still dubious about based on the current performance. Here we go, Luigi, the finish line, pipe frame, Yoshi making the break for it, and he'll come in second. And we had a very slow time of 23-6. And uh, we're off to a, a slow start, but a good one for Luigi, who managed to win. Five points for him, and Weston... Has got to be happy at home. Let's go to Heat 2. Near side, we have Donkey Kong, then Luigi again, Yoshi Yoshi. Donkey Kong had a very slow first race, so I, I gotta be wondering how he's going to speed it up here. Right now, not looking good. It looks like the turns are his Achilles heel. Looks like these hairpins are tough for him. A lot of speed loss in both of them so far. Already back to fourth place. Breakaway from Yoshi in the standard cart. He's up a few lengths and more. Here comes the pipe frame to challenge for second and will grab it and will have more room to grab it through this inside hairpin. Now even close on the standard car Yoshi. It'll be close going into this back stretch of wide track. Here comes Yoshi standard cart around the that hairpin takes a wide line. Now, far side turns, skids for a second, but the pipe frame is too slow. Uh, Luigi will grab third there backwards. 21-7, so a little faster moving races. And Donkey Kong won't finish, and we'll have our first, uh, no, I guess it's not our first DNF based in the last video, so our first DNF of today. And 
man. They got a feel for Donkey Kong right now. But, I mean, I'm just going to be straight up. I said in the unboxing videos that I'm not believing in Donkey Kong and the standard card. I just don't think they work well together. And you see there that it, it just might be a lack of speed. Around the turns was slow. And I'm not saying he's, he's bad in the technical sense. But, I mean, the lack of speed made it harder for him down these uh, back stretches. Four decimal places, 21.7037. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. I mean, you don't need five. I can tell you that for sure. Heat three. And let's take a look on the near side here. We got Yoshi in that pipe frame who I see potential. Two second place finishes so far. Let's see if he'll uh, jump out to an early lead this time. This time he is. So is Donkey Kong. So maybe I spoke too soon. But again, look at the hairpin. Look at how he turned through it. You see the speed loss. He was in first and went to last. And that's just unfortunate. The pipe frame also not taking to those turns very well. But we do have Yoshi in the standard cart near side really working it. Luigi coming just behind with but many lengths between them so it might be a distance for him and as, let's see how cloaked after dark takes to this final section again we have a big hairpin coming outside line once again Luigi taking an inner line and has speed near side and knocks into Yoshi doesn't find the gap and they're all bumper cars Yoshi will still cross oh and the pipe frame almost fine second Donkey Kong blasts through Yoshi as well and with a uh, Loss of speed, still an interesting finish. You just saw a lot of turning here. Turn, 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 turn. Really some bumper cars, like some bumper cars that went haywire. And then you had two other racers decide to wake up speed-wise, but too late. And now you got to be asking who is going to advance. I don't think Cloaked After Dark, unfortunately here, as Donkey Kong has a chance. 3-3-2. Three, three, that's going to make a solid 8 points for Jeremy, so he's still in the game. But he has to deal with Weston with 10 and Chase Family with 12. Chase Family, and I, I know they were excited about it, so it's good to see that they're breaking away with nice leads. But Weston is trying to give a last gasp attempt to pull it back. And right now he is killing it. Off camera, the rest of the racers turns through that hairpin with a flourish. And we have a chance. Jeremy might be looking at a tie breaker here if... No, no, they'd have to be switched for that points-wise. Jeremy's the one down, too, and Luigi's going to secure that win. Uh, too late on the pipe frame, and Yoshi is fine for Chase Family. They'll be moving on. You can see the consistency is important, Jeremy, but you got to get maybe at least one first place in there to grab that extra bonus point. Remember, it's one, two, three, but then five, and that extra bonus point sometimes does make the difference. 21.6 and I mean a slow group I'd say considering we were getting down the low 21s even into the 20s last time and I was uh, anticipating a possible 18 in the future so it depends on the models we have out there second group heat one and we'll get another look here a lot of Yoshis a lot of Yoshis And we have Victor Quiles, Marilyn, Justin Trotter, and Josh Sr. And in order, we got a blue Yoshi in a pipe frame. We got a Yoshi in a Mach 8. We got a Mario in a Wild Wing. And we got a Shy Guy in a B-Dasher, who I would expect it to have been faster right now. But he's, I, I don't know where he, yeah, he's way behind there. And Yoshi in the Mach 8, though, really pulling his weight right here against the pipe frame. Looking pretty good. Oh, there comes the Shy Guy in the B-Dasher. It's the Wild Wing Mario, who's really the negative choice. And I know I mentioned that at the time. Here comes the Mach 8 Yoshi down for a win. Oh, pipe frame holding off the B-Dasher and does even backwards. And we have a 21 flat. Well, 21.05, but um, sometimes you got to ignore those decimal places. Yeah, Mario in the Wild Wing, I, I mean, again, everyone has two cars they get to put in, but, I mean, the Wild Wing, I, for Mario, I, I it's more of a daisy thing. And even then, I don't think it's the best choice. Starting good with Merlin with five, but, I mean, he seems so far behind there, the Wild Wing, that maybe it was just a bad jump out of the gate. So let's see how he, how he leaves this time. The lights are all on here. We're rolling out, and Mario there in the Wild Wing. Oh, I can't tell. I can't tell if he's slow 
I, it mm, looks like he's holding pace with the Mach A. Here comes Blue Pipe Frame Yoshi. And yeah, he's starting to drop behind through the turn. So maybe the turns are, are his uh, Waterloo. Here comes the B Dasher inside line, pulling his weight quite well right now. He's got about five, six, seven lengths on Pipe Frame Yoshi. Here we go, rounding that corner. And it's holding him out the same, but here comes the Mach 8 speeding up, trying to close that gap into second place. Far side. And we have Shy Guy now here on the uh, near side, but has a little bit of a smaller distance between him and Mach 8 Yoshi, who's making a push for it. Outside line kind of skids through that turn. Here comes Blue Yoshi, and not enough space. He found the wrong line and made a collision that only helped out... Uh, the other Yoshi. And we have B Dasher here, but 21 3. 21 3. And we have Heat 3 coming up here. And uh, I'm trying to, to wonder of the Wild Wing. I just think it's a bad combo. I, I, I'm just got to be straight up always. It's just not necessarily the fastest one you can imagine. Because you got to anticipate stuff like this. These hairpins, I mean, these are tight hairpins with some straight lines. And they're, in, they're banked, and so they can be hard to get up on. you got to have cars that can dexterously approach them. Blue Pipe Frame Yoshi, who struggled for the first two races uh, a little bit, is finally starting to break away here. He's got a good chance at a win. Mach 8 Yoshi, you saw him lose all the speed there through the last hairpin. Here comes the big one, and Blue Pipe Frame Yoshi... This is going to look good for him. And this will be... Oh, this is our... I think this is our first under 20. 19-5. Let's start clapping our hands out there. Followed by B-Dasher. Shy Guy. I didn't have to... A lot of Yoshis is what I'm trying to say. 19.5. 7-4-3. I'm not going to remember those numbers, but I'll remember the 19-5. I'm not going to do any rounding. This is not math class. No significant figures in my head. Just I'm seeing the numbers. Tied there. We have two tied. Ten and ten, Victor and Merlin. Actually, ten for Josh Senior. We have three tied. We have a three-way tie, which only means that this race is going to undo a tie, which means only two racers are going to win. Unfortunately, one of them can't be Mario in the Wild Wing. Sorry, Justin, but I know you have another car in there, and keep excited. Actually, Justin, if you're watching, throw it in the comments what you got. I'll try to keep a memory on which uh, car is your second one. Keep a lookout for it. Here we go. Blue Pipe Frame Yoshi looking like he's going to clinch a spot in the finals. What about the Mach 8? Who's going to emerge? Maybe the B-Dasher? Shy Guy working. Oh my god, Yoshi has stopped on the track. I spoke too soon. Here comes the B-Dasher. Here comes the Mach 8. But he pushes him forward. The Mach 8 has no speed. Yoshi will finish. The Mach 8 made a terrible mistake, a fatal one. 23-9, by the way, I don't want to mention it. But when you have a stop car there, you got to get by. Replay. Stopped. On the track in roadblock formation. Knocks him out of the way. And, well, I mean, it was a prediction issue. But the Mach 8 had to see the outside line was going to be free. And get there because Yoshi left the line open. But only transferred momentum. And what do you have? You have the Mach 8 going home disappointed with an opportunity floated right in front of him. Into the finals. Heat 1. Weston, Chase Family, Racing, I guess the R4. Victor Kules, Josh Sr. Tough loss for the Yoshi in the Mach 8, but we have a good set of four out there. A fast set of four. Yoshi in the pipe frame. Rounding that corner, breaking away with a lead. Luigi slowed down through the turns. Let's turn it again. Luigi hanging on in there. I can't see who's hanging on for third. Looks like Shy Guy in the B Dasher. Here comes Yoshi. Looking for the final stretch. Trying to start out with a win on this one to establish himself. Maybe put him in a good place to win. Right towards the finish. Stay straight. And he's going to grab five. And that was 20.2. So almost a record, which is 19.5.
clear. We got Shy Guy in a tangle there, grabbing second. I, I, mean, I know we're going to see uh, under 19 over the course of this tournament. I could not imagine that this tournament would would persist uh, without an under a sub-19 run, especially when we get towards the, the finals. We really got the fast cars revving. And we'll send them out there again. What track this is, by the way. I mean, I think it moves a little slower than your average track, but I mean, it's about the technique, and, and it's about entering and exiting those hairpin turns. So as you're watching, really keep a close eye on that as we're uh, entering and exiting, because that's where the maintenance of speed happens. You don't just get the free, super steep downhill that keeps you kind of whirling through no matter what your skill level is. Now you got to keep maintenance. Uh, Yoshi in the pipe uh, pipe frame here, looking at another win, skidding there, slow through that turn. He's going to try to edge out for this one. I don't see any other cars on the screen. Where was the speed in Heat 1? Here comes Shy Guy in the B-Dasher at the 21-2. I know Shy Guy's faster than that. Two cars are going to be... No, one car's not going to finish. Luigi's going to scrape by... It's just kind of odd to see the sudden decrease in ability from these other vehicles which is what I'm kind of noticing now look at them just dying out there 21 2 6 8 5 Luigi looks a little bit upset Two fives for the Victor Quiles submission. Blue Yoshi, blue pipe frame. Very blue. Two threes for Shy Guy in the B Dasher, so still with a chance for him. If Yoshi manages this one, that's it. Shy Guy trying to hold on here. Looks like there's less of a distance between them as we head into the second straight this time. It's going to be about how he gets out there towards the back end. Oh man, it's just a breakaway. Look at that. Look at the distance. It's a real breakaway. Maybe there's a chance. We got Yoshi in the standard car making a push for it. Chase Family Racing. Near side. Through. Up by many lengths. Maybe a shot for him. Down to the finish. Blue pipe frame stuck. Maybe even uh, challenging for last place. Here comes the beat Asher. And Yoshi is out pass by. And the blue pipe frame clinches. Big comeback as they all slowed down in the final straight. And backwards driving finds the outside line. Guess is right. Chase couldn't keep it together. 22-7. And Victor Cliles clinching. And with a partial sweep opportunity, we have not seen anything close to that so far this competition. Maybe a chance for it now. The pipe frame. Eyes on the pipe frame for the partial sweep. And I'm going to tell you what, based on how this competition's been going, a partial sweep is pretty hard to get. All right, so I'm going to be pretty impressed on a single partial sweep. Must be a good racer out there to manage it. Suspense building for that partial sweep. I don't even know if we'll see an individual. Maybe, but it's hard press. Here comes Luigi trying to end that partial sweep chance. Anything he'd want to do would be to end it. Here he comes, neck and neck, and the pipe frame jukes. The pipe frame finds space, running to the finish. Luigi is out, spins away, and the pipe frame. Oh, wow. What a sequence of decisions. And just was so reactive in that transition. Found the space easily and just made the partial sweep look easy. Wow. Five, uh, four fives, and he'll be heading to the finals. I think he had one, two in the first group, so pretty good uh, performance from him today. Definitely deserving of the win, and uh, that's going to leave him as the second to advance, along with K from the last video. Do subscribe and ring that bell, and we'll see you next time on Races and Fun.